All right, guys, I'm back. For one video, at least. In this video, I'm gonna look at Whiplash again. I already did a video on the film as a whole, one you should definitely check out if you haven't already. But there's a specific aspect I'd like to explore further. That aspect, the disappearing folder. For those who haven't seen this film, I don't know why you're watching this video if you haven't, but for those who haven't, there's a pivotal moment in Whiplash where an important folder disappears. It's just gone, without a trace, and the film gives no explanation. It just keeps going, and so the audience goes with it. Lots of people have speculated about what happened to that folder. Theories include Andrew purposely losing it. Don't fucking touch my folder, man. Fletcher hiding it. A janitor or stagehand taking it. Get the fuck out of my sight before I demolish you. And probably more that I don't even know about. Do not touch this kid. Interestingly, the script contains a scene that implies a janitor took it. But that scene was cut from the film, wisely in my opinion. The thing about every theory regarding the disappearing folder, they're all speculation. It's not that they're wrong, it's that there's no evidence in the film to support them. I mean, watch the scene. Andrew puts the folder down and turns away, and no one, not the other characters, not a janitor or stagehand, no one comes by. Then Andrew turns back and the folder is gone. I need to look at the music. Oh yeah, it's right here. We can also look at the characters' reactions. Tanner. Find the fucking folder! Andrew. I swear, I just had it here two seconds ago. Fletcher. Play the goddamn music. There's not even a hint from any of them. I'd like to present an alternate theory on the folder's disappearance, one I haven't seen mentioned. And I'll state up front. Listen up, cocksuckers! This theory involves a ridiculous overanalysis of the film, and probably was not the filmmaker's intention. But you know what this analysis won't involve? Speculation. Everything I discuss will be based on concrete evidence in the film. Before I begin, minor spoilers ahead. All right, let's do this. First and foremost, we must agree that there is nothing in the film that even hints to the folder's disappearance. Nothing. It is inexplicable. But here's the thing. This isn't the only inexplicable moment in this film. There are actually two others, here and here. Yes, these moments can be easily explained. Andrew forgot to turn his alarm on. The bus ran over some sharp object. But like the theories explaining the missing folder, these explanations have no evidence within the film. No setup, no foreshadowing, no explanation, or even acknowledgement after the fact. In the world of the film, they may be easily explained, but in the film itself, they are inexplicable. There's a saying in storytelling, once is happenstance, twice is a coincidence, three times is an established pattern, or enemy action according to Ian Fleming, who coined the phrase. It's why films have lines like this. Dash, this is the third time this year you've been sent to the office. Or this. This is the part I really like is when she does that shit with her hair. Oh yeah, I know, I've seen it three times this month. It's a way to establish a pattern without taking the time to show the pattern. <laughs> Knowing that, and looking at Whiplash, what we have is an established pattern of inexplicable events happening in the film. All right, let's put that aside for a second. Another major aspect in Whiplash is its devil motif. Specifically, Fletcher represents the devil. I discuss this in depth in my other video, so I'll just go over it quickly here. Fletcher only wears black, the color of death, his classroom is in the basement, i.e. underground, and it is lit yellow and red, the colors of fire. Fletcher is bald, lean, and muscular, as the devil is often depicted. And here's something I didn't notice when making my first video. The band Fletcher plays in literally has Faust in their name. Sure, Zach Faust is the film's art department coordinator, but Faust is also a classic German legend in which the titular character makes a deal with the devil similar to what Andrew does with Fletcher in this film. 
The filmmakers obviously know this, and so they knew what they were doing putting that name in there. Now let's take a step back and look at what we have here. We have a devil character and an established pattern of inexplicable events happening in the film. Not only that, but each inexplicable event, enemy action according to Fleming, serves the same purpose, to sabotage a drummer in the face of the devil. The alarm clock and flat tire sabotaging, or at least attempting to sabotage Andrew, and the disappearing folder sabotaging Tanner. Inexplicable events are often called acts of God, and God is the enemy of the devil. So could it be that God himself is responsible? That God took the folder and broke the alarm clock and ruptured the tire, all in an effort to prevent Tanner or Andrew from giving themselves to the devil? Yes, this explanation is ridiculous. A way over analysis of something I seriously doubt the filmmakers intended. I warned you it would be. But you know what this explanation isn't? speculative. And as such, it isn't any less ridiculous than any other theory out there. Theories that might be more believable but aren't nearly as interesting because they don't have evidence in the actual filmmaking. In truth, you want to know what really happened to the folder? The screenwriter made it disappear because he needed it to for the story to go where he wanted it to go. Yeah, it's a great kid. Tanner, are you a fucking statue? Let's go. Get off the stool. And writers are the gods of the worlds they create. So there you go. Don't forget to turn Neiman's pages. Here we go. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. <laughs>